what is happening y'all how's everybody doing today hope you're all doing well i'm gonna be streaming a bit of lies of p new game plus now obviously since this is new game plus uh should be obvious but spoilers you know we're using like late game weapons crazy high level all that stuff uh but you know just putting it out there because sometimes people are still like i don't know but anyway uh before we jump right into it we need to respec uh played the whole game with advance so i'm going to try out a different build so we're going to do a little bit of um got to pick a weapon pick some weapons actually i'm going to take a look at boss weapons real fast so Obvious, like, big spoiler. I, I'm just gonna stop saying spoilers. There's, there's gonna be tons of spoilers in the stream. So... Uh, is there any other weapon? Because I'm thinking... I'm leaning towards a quality build. Because then I could use the Ouroboros Eye. And I could use Proof of Humanity, which are both cool. Um, you're more strength. I mean, you could, I mean, a lot of these could actually be, be quality weapons now that I'm looking at them. Some of them not, but. The P organ, the Pinocchio organ, the puppet organ, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. This game leans more to dodge or parrying, parrying. In fact, there's a whole set of perks around getting perfect parries. So yeah, we'll probably... Oh, first things first. I mean, I wonder if I could... If I could actually... No, the scaling on these is going to be too bad. We're going to have to respec a bunch of stuff. But first, let's get some, some weapons out. And figure out what we want to use. Um, use storage. Goodbye, my beautiful weapons. Spent so much time leveling up your elemental goodness. So I know we want to use this. This thing's super cool. I'll show you all this thing. This is a definite. So. That's cool. So we're over with that. And then I'll probably I'll probably use this guy. It's because this has a I can do this. Some good saw in action. What's our weight at? Damn, weight is heavy with both of these. 20.5, 16.5. Jesus! It's so heavy! I don't think there's a weapon that's going to weigh more than that that I'll want to use. I just that's why I should make All right. Uh, let me take a look. So I can make you go A and C in either one of those, okay. And you could go up to CC. What is you by default? Your BB? I don't think we're going to see better than BB for a quality build. BD, BD. This one's CC. It's kind of basic. Clock swords a CC. Sucks that there's not like proper, like further enhance the quality scaling. Bell of provocation. What does that do exactly? 
Increase the attack of the character and the enemies. No, I'm not a giant fan of that. Strength. That would be fun to use, probably. Range on that looks like it would be painful to deal with. But she has two weapons I need to buy. You have been so uh, let me buy this stuff too. Buying everything I need before New Game Plus. As always. CB. Does anything else have a CB? You do, but with advance. So I think the two weapons that I thought I was going to use are going to be... I mean, other boss weapons get CB. Um... another full moonstone to get you to plus five okay <clears throat> I think I can buy one Welcome. 6500 mm. well let me go respec now for for this and then we'll go farm up what we need to upgrade I didn't do a quality build for my playthrough, I did advance, so my weapons are very different from what you'd be using. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the crit, because this has a bonus, increases crit chance, so I think I want to increase the crit attack. Let's see, 620 compared to 5. It's like a 5, 5% 5 to health. Is it... Yeah, I mean, well, it is 5 to, like, all the categories. 5%. What do y'all think? 5% to health, stamina, and legion? Or would I rather take my physical resist from 43.67 to 51.67? It's 8% extra physical resist. That's the question is if 8% physical resist is worth it over the 5%. In most cases, probably won't be. I'd like to get my weight low enough, if at all possible, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I'd have to probably... I think I'd have to, like... 
to, yeah, I'd have to drop down on frame parts. Most likely. Okay. Alright, we've reset level. We're gonna reset Legion Arm. I need to go get more gold fruit to do it. Thoughts on the game? Four out of five. Watch the review. Oh, I was like, why am I going so slow? It's because I've... Respect. Didn't have the juice. Boost this. No, I'm not making a walkthrough. If I want to keep max defense stuff, crit that, I really prefer to have that, but I would need probably a crazy amount of weight. I'm curious. Let me see what I'd have to get to... So I could run it at 18. If I wanted to be normal, I'd have to go up to 30. And then I'd want to go like 20, 20, 15, 15. All right, that might be worth it. I mean, going up to 30 capacity, I'd have the, the super hit follow up. Which would be nice having the no way. Hang on, this isn't. Never mind. This isn't right because I don't even have a weapon on right now. Unable to equip further. Jesus. I'd want to have that on. I'd want to change out the legion arm. Uh, I mean, fulminus would still be decent. I kind of like the idea of this. Big charge counters. Probably that. And then the puppet string. Eight point five. Twelve point four though. Fuck, do the weight. Oh, I can't put it on.
Well, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna need this at least at 20. charges so how good does this get So that did 188. I'll wait for it to be ready. I did 201. 189 on the parry. So I can parry those with it. That's kind of cool. How does the charge work? It's not exactly clear. I'm going to turn off my preview. Let's slag it on my end. There we go. While performing a guard counter, charge for a more powerful attack. While performing a guard counter. Isn't a guard counter the... I don't know how I charge this. How do I, how do I charge it? Okay, that's how we charge it. That's kind of cool, 500. I mean, it's about the same as like a single R1, but I think the stagger on it's really high. It looks like it does a lot of stagger build up though, so that might be worth using as a main. Do I want conquering Amy though? Let me test this. So, full fable art combo. Twenty-seven Twenty-seven thirty-one, chat. Now, oh, hang on. Now, what exactly is... Let me just punch that into the calc. Um... 
So I'd want to. All right. Well, shit. I don't know how I'm gonna test this without letting it fade a little bit. Because what it wants me to do is stagger and then. I don't, I use charge attacks so much. I'm trying to think how I, how do I how do I test this? I gotta get him to the stagger point and then just do it and minus it out. But without staggering him. Seven forty two. Twenty eight fifteen. So that was two thousand and seventy three. Yeah, something's not right here. What does it mean by staggerable? Never mind, I'm staggered. I'm dumb. So it's after I've staggered them. 1707. Nineteen thirty seven. So it's like right around it's nineteen hundred on average, it looks like. Is that one was below it? But I would need to increase the stagger window. I'd need to rebuild my P organs probably. Make sense though. These numbers aren't, they're not adding up. It's 2500 minus 700 is 1800. It's still, it's the same damage. It ain't that deep. Just play the game. How about you suck my dick? Because that's a better use of your mouth than coming into my stream and then complaining about what I'm doing. Well, we're only seeing 1600 there. The 
question is, do I have enough time to get the, the full combo off and get the crit? It would lead to a very big burst window. That's, hang on, this is what I should test. Let me just do the full combo with the amulet and the full combo without the amulet. So... So 4904. Oh, hang on, that time something went different. I think I used a different charge. I used the, the follow-up charge, that's why. Forty-six sixty-nine. Forty-seven ninety-four. So the crits are, are changing it around. So let's just let's say uh say forty six hundred on on average. Forty-seven, forty-three. I don't. I don't think it's helping. That time was only Alright, so I don't see I don't see nearly enough benefit on using this. It doesn't seem like it works that well at all. Whereas I know that allows for a fat juicy follow-up. But if I'm gonna use that and the arm and my weapon. I could get by at 25. <clears throat> I'd be slightly heavy. Oh my god, I'd have to go up to 41. Alright, let's go. We'll do a slightly heavy build at 25. Yes. And so that's gonna allow us carrying, conquerors, that boost, and crit boost. Thanks again for the content. Thank you, Andre. Fifteen and thirty. For the content. Much appreciated, sir. At least. Let's take this up to twenty twenty. Alright. That's five points worth. Two. We're only getting two more per point. Maybe I get the vigor up higher at this point.
Yeah, let me get that back up to 20. Physical attack and the charge pulse is higher. My fable charge and my damage reduction drop. It's gonna be quite good. So we're rocking this. I wish I had my stamina one on. How much does that weigh? Okay, basically the same. Garbo. Those are worth it. Okay. So we've respect. Wait, 76? How? We were, we were. Hang on a second. I don't think it's accounting for the ring. Let me see. No, why am I slightly heavy? What the fuck, dude? Unless I was getting such a massive increase. Seven thousand. Where do I want to go? I'll probably fight through here. These guys should give me what I need to get the stats. Now these are the the in-game records. This will be a good chance to. No, hang on, that's a shortcut we unlock. How do we? Sorry, start going this way. Oh, bro, that does like nothing. I want for Christmas is some boys. Nope, I'm gonna die if that bitch hits me again with disruption.
Where's the big? I'm trying to remember where the big dude's at. Stamina sucks. But I'd have to, if I went with like a lighter Legion arm. Uh, I don't know. I could go with a lighter Legion arm and. Less defense, and that would manage my stamina better. Crits going off. I think I have. Let me kill like one more thing. I use the uh, fire dagger to kill the bishop. <clears throat> See, that's the thing, dude. These the the regular enemies in this game they hit so freaking hard. That I really, uh, I don't, I don't want to lower my defense. I just want, that's why I should. All right, let's see what this thing's capable of doing now that it's fully leveled up. So. 2149, typically. Pretty good. I wish these weren't so heavy. I'd love to have both of these equipped, but the the weight difference in them just ain't gonna allow that. Blocking is not perfect. Blocking absolutely needs a patch. The perfect guard window is way, 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 way too tight. And we're going to probably put on the, uh, the crit grinder, I guess. All right. Um, is there anything else we want to change? I think we're, I think we keep the same regular move set. I might swap you out occasionally for that, but otherwise I think we're good. Ghost of Tsushima is the best parry mechanic? Hell no. The best parry mechanic, hands down, is Sekiro. Ain't even a competition, bro. You push button, he blocks. Yeah, bro, you might want to stop talking about mechanics that you clearly don't have a fundamental understanding of. We're not talking about push button and blocks. We're talking about perfect guard, which is the whole basis of defense in this entire game. And the fact that you didn't understand that means you don't have a clue what the fuck you're even saying.
No, rolling rolling can be used. You can even dodge uh, unblockables with rolling, but there's like a ring you have to use with it. And it's a hefty one, bro. There's two there's two rings in particular that are like really busted, but the weight on them is insane. Uh so you have this one, which allows you to dodge even without stamina, but it obviously weighs 20. And then there's another one. I don't know if I picked it up. I probably didn't get it. There's one that allows you to dodge through um, perilous attacks. No, there's no 100% walkthrough coming for this. So the game itself is pretty linear, so I don't think a walkthrough is really needed to find stuff. And the other thing is to even get your platinum, you have to go through New Game Plus to finish collecting records because there's records you can't get in New Game. Um, so it's just, I don't know. It, it would be an extra long walkthrough. And I don't really think it's worth it in this particular case. Do I even want to level this up? I mean, it could be okay to... to take out trash enemies with, I guess? Let me level up the mines. I'll mess with those. So it was either that or... or this guy. I don't think you're understanding me. I'm saying there will be no walkthrough for this game. I'm not saying it's not going to be platinum. I'm saying there will not be a walkthrough. I am not doing one for this game. It is not needed. Oh, records, supply boxes, Veneji collections. Let me make sure I bought everything I want before we go. Not going to need cranks or the defense stuff. Yes, a checklist is more because it's it's like to get the hundred percent. It's like shit like this. It's collect the records. That's a fucking that's a website checklist. That's not a walkthrough. And then the only other thing would be the endings, which is you know lie a bunch and then tell the truth a bunch. Like be the puppet, get the puppet ending, get the human ending. That's it. Talk to your NPCs. This isn't something that has obscure. Like literally, when you get a quest. Like, if you get a quest and you, you look at, at a, you go to teleport to Stargazer, it will actually show a little icon that says, like, hey, you should go back to zone 5 for this quest. So, like, a lot of the shit that I do in the walkthrough, it's not even needed because the game holds your hand through it. Alright, let's get started on New Game Plus. I think I'm happy. With the quality build, I think this will be good. <clears throat> Man, I'm covered in cat hair. Shit, I forgot to change my fuck. Is it too late? Hang on. Let me try and reload. I want to change my hair. I want to go back to the cool hairstyle. It might be too late. I might already be in New Game Plus.
I think I'm already... I think we're already in New Game Plus. Yep, we're in New Game Plus. Damn. Got the young boy hair. I like how we still do the slow walk. All right, we can't get that open now anyway. Sounds like there's no super secret items or weapons hidden behind invisible walls. No, not as there's not even invisible walls in this game. Or if there is, they're insanely well hidden. Like every time I saw what I thought would be an invisible wall, I went to attack it and it was just a wall. Come on! I hate that it's forcing the slow walk. Yo, phase six P organ, hello. Add weapon slots, lol, no. Perfect guard, weapon durability recover, that's cool. Enhance pulse cell recovery or more belt slots. Uh pulse cell and perfect guard sound like the play. That sounds really good. Oh, just a whole extra pulse cell. Yeah, having an extra pulse cell. That's definitely, uh, definitely what we're going for. No, you, you have to play melee. Anti-hype, welcome to the Booty Warriors. Oh, it's this way. the stats but dude the stamina rate sucks I think I'm gonna have to go for the stamina ammy the game is not even a bloodborne like it's closer to Sekiro people just saw Victorian and think bloodborne
Workshop Union Lightweight Frame plus one. Is it better? No, not even close. Did you pick this game over Wo Long? I mean, why, why don't you just play both? I don't understand why y'all are always like, would you pick this over that? Like, just, just get them both. Aren't they like both on Game Pass too? Can't you just get Game Pass and play both games? So in the story and lore of the game, do you think there's a chance for DLC? Uh, I think they said they, they more set up a sequel. I don't think there's DLC. <clears throat> it could be DLC, but the way they set it up makes me think they're, they have a, a sequel plan more than DLC. I only used the saber until I got my lightning stick. I'm not even sure what you're talking about. Fable charge. <clears throat> I do like all the crits this is getting. I think I need a different thing. I think my um So I think my grindstone conflicts with the crit buff I give it. I'll have to take the the, the grindstone off. So far, all the loot seems like it's the same shit, so... Whiffs. Oh, what? Oh, I'm out of Legion juice. Should have respect. I think doing a guard regain build could be fun. Yes, outfits are purely aesthetic. It just it's costumes you put on. I'll be a monster hunter. There's like one side quest that involves wearing an outfit. I wouldn't really describe that as some purpose. 
That's just like one neat, very obvious Easter egg where the lady gives you an outfit. And then you put it on and she comments that you look like a pretty young boy. This is what happens when your weapon's about to break. Story is very straightforward. Hello, I didn't you didn't hear? You ought to buy out here alone. I recommend you do whatever you want for your first playthrough. Just have fun with it. Honestly, once you learn to perfect guard, the game's not particularly hard. The perfect guard mechanic is the, the biggest wall to overcome. Um, like, in terms of bosses, there were only two bosses that actually took, like, time. I already got crit, so maybe I go stagger. Or super perfect guard. Actually, the perfect guard one would probably be more synergistic since I'm running with Conqueror Amulet. Punch that gate open. I would be very surprised if they don't buff the window. my combo, you bitch. Guard on that is whack. Ooh. 
Just die, bro. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. We could have given the king a red festival. So I can... I can read puppet speech now. Honestly, like, what's kind of interesting is a lot of times the, the, the elite enemies are actually harder to deal with than bosses. why they do like an organ sting as we're reaching the the hub doesn't really fit it's like hotel crot like it's trying to show off that it's spooky or something but like this is just your your hub Perfect guard's probably going to get patched, though. I mean, honestly, the only people who are going to be able to hit these perfect guards are people that, like, constantly play Souls-type games or, like, Sekiro and shit like that. Your average player is just going to fucking whiff. And especially with them trying to... trying to go for that the Game Pass success, I would be very surprised if they decide that they... They're gonna keep it because like right now dude so many people are gonna pick up this game on game pass try it out get absolutely bodied and then be like yeah i don't think so I hope you should take this. like people are just straight gonna uninstall because they can't do anything so does this get to go higher no it does not whack I wonder if I change the handle. Perfect guard is only hard for the King's Flame. Yeah, you're at like the beginning of the game. Y'all should, should really stop making assumptions. There are bosses late game that you're not gonna hit perfect guards for, and they're going to bend you down and spread your butt cheeks so wide that you're gonna split into just one big old seam. Actually, I might go back for, hold up. Okay, let's pull out that. Like, dude, final boss is going to clap so many cheeks on people. And beyond that, this, the secret boss, bro. So many people are going to get fucking bodied by secret boss, too. Nah, no, no multiplayer in this at all. No, uh... No PvP. No summoning. Nothing.
Well, specters, yeah, but I mean, you're not summoning players. on these attacks. The Archbishop wasn't bad. Once I, uh, once I decided to use fire, he died pretty easily. F one fifty frame. So far, New Game Plus kind of easy breezy. Like, we don't even have to really try. It's a lot of clapping. This weapon's kind of busted, like, I don't even really need to... I don't need to, like, adhere to the mechanics of the game. I can just, like, spam attack and I'm fine. opinion on slash versus stab I don't really have an opinion it's just it's just different attack types it's all it's not some monumental thing cheesy boy My day job is government stuff. Bro, oh, what was that hitbox? Dude whiffed the attack and then it gave him the, the hit on the startup. I don't know why y'all keep saying it's a retelling of Pinocchio. There's like almost nothing from the original Pinocchio story. Like this game has some names from Pinocchio. That's about it. I would not call this a retelling of Pinocchio.
Pinocchio never had a, uh, puppet frenzy where you were running around killing puppets that were murdering the populace. Why did I not sharpen beforehand? Still no level. Bro! Gun enemies always hit so fucking hard in this game, it's ridiculous. Oh shit, I didn't replenish my stuff. That's weird. So far, New Game Plus is a lot of like, hey, it's the thing you got before, but she got it again. Where'd you get this weapon? Secret boss. I mean, he's not really secret. It's just one of the endings has a extra boss.
And that extra boss is pretty hard. And has a cool ass weapon. Backstab window on this dude is such a pain. Having second thoughts about my mini whirly gig. Oh no, I feel like I wish Fable Arch charged faster in this game. You see, most Souls games are New Game Plus, same. I mean, a lot of the time you'll find like upgraded soul consumables, better upgrade mats. We're probably just gonna run straight for the boss. Not really a reason for me to fight through everything. So about that. Uh, respec is about halfway into the game, I guess. It's, uh... it's after you get through uh, the the grand expedition. And you beat the... It's after the King of Puppets. After you beat the King of Puppets. You'll gain access to respec. Come, Spectre friend. Distract this boss so I can beat his ass. Give me a second, I'm in a boss. Let me get through this. This thing is on my ass, bro. Come on, I'm trying to do my crits. I lost my whole crit window because he was just...
Oh, my back is hot. I'm exploding. Grab. I'm dumb. Did I just die to that? Wow, bro. Whack. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was just a really slow attack. That sucks. That should have been a pretty easy kill. It does feel like boss have their health really, really ramped up for New Game Plus. Like, that thing had a buttload of health. Shock your butt. No, ah, it's the grab again. Fuck me, man. So that does, what, 75% of my health? About. I'm dead. I might be dead. We'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. Jesus, bro. Yeah, New Game Plus apparently is fucking wild with the bosses. Oh man, you're so bad at this game. Oh man, you're a fucking letter person. Yeah, so far, health bars on New Game Plus seem pretty outrageous, along with the damage that we're seeing. Especially, it's weird, because in, in in the New Game Cycle, there were a lot of times where I felt like elites were overtuned compared to bosses. 
And on New Game Plus, it's like the opposite. The regular enemies are just fodder now. Completely. And New Game Plus bosses are... Like, what the fuck, dude? Now I tested it. I don't- I don't think, uh... I don't think phantoms affect boss health. Oh man, it's a lot of dudes. Excuse me. We can go in without a phantom just to, to test, but I don't think it does. Honestly, if all the bosses have this much health, I might not do a full New Game Plus playthrough. Because this is some, like... What the fuck? I keep thinking it's the dodge. Ooh, that was the grab. survive. Should have gone for the critical, probably. No. Ah. I wanted to back away to heal. Yeah, honestly, seeing this, I don't even want to, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about the, like, final boss new game plus, and I'm just like, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. No, this is the second boss. The first boss was still a pretty much a pushover, but the health bar on this dude is outrageous for new game plus.
Oh fuck, I'm dead. The grab. Rip. No, I'm alive still. Just fucking barely. So happy to waste my grindstone on that. was uh excessively difficult anyway give me a minute let's see what the wife needed I'll be right back to go pick up the boy at like 4.30 so we got about another hour that we can progress remaining ergo is there a thing I can gobble to get my level <laughs> I would be I guess I'll just get it later uh, I'm gonna take both of these up to 30, I guess. Oh, that's right, I gotta go use my pea organs. Pea organs. Puppets talk on New Game Plus. Yeah, this weapon's cool, but honestly, New Game Plus feels a wee bit overtuned. Oh, yeah, cool hair is back. Look like a badass now. But he never Remember. The be careful. Be wary of Okay. Increase our pulse cells. Increase dodge and dash attacks. Um Lowers the durability consumption during slashing attacks. Yeah, it sounds pretty useful. Let's grab that. You can get from City Hall to the 
I'm ready. But you got a rocket with the, the workshop master, yeah. Let me put back on the uh, mega guard shield thing. Uh, there we go, Aegis. See, like right here. See how I see those little faces? That indicates that there's a quest to talk to her and the other guy. Our new dialogue. Oh wow, a new Fulminus. Thank you so much. Mm -mm. I could probably get through this next area. Let me see what Rory said. Yeah, so far New Game Plus seems fairly bare-boned. It's also weird that we're just being re-given all the, the same stuff as usual, like Here's the arm that you clearly would have already. Thought you'd go strength build like you did in the other souls? Yeah, but most souls have this thing called poise. Poise does not exist in this game. And having no, uh... Damn, she can't make that jump. This game, four out of five. Damn, look at that throw. Guys are going for the instant overheat. Steel Rising is a three out of five. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun game. It has some problems, but it's fun. Oh, cool. That stays unlocked in New Game Plus. It's nice. I mean, big. you can big bonk. It's just, it's fucking hard, dude. Like, let me pull, pull out a big bonk weapon. Now, given this isn't leveled up. So, you know. Don't expect it to to do a lot of damage, but you know, take this thing. This is one of the bigger of the bonk weapons. But like even fighting, well, let me let me drop. I'll fight some basic enemies. Let me drop in here.
So, like, the, a big problem is you need to do a charge attack to get a stagger. But, like, look how long that takes to go off. Like, that happened to work because they were just fucking standing there. But if I have anything that attacks me... Like, that takes fucking forever, dude. Like, I'm gonna get my big hit off. Well, that's how I actually did. The range on this thing is carrying it. See, so, so like, typically in a Souls game, I would trade. Right there, I traded, but I still got fucking pancaked. So... You know, trying to use that when instead I could just be faster. It's just not really worth it. No, there is nothing that's going to allow you to, to poise. There is no poise, there is no hyper armor. I mean, there's strength weapons that aren't like pure Ungabunga that you can use. Like, strength is definitely a viable build. It's just you're not playing this like your typical strength build where you're like, I'll take a hit to the face and not care because I'm about to trade and do a buttload of damage. Like that's not, that's not a thing. Strength is a, it's a patience game in this. Yeah, no poise or hyper armor, and then the, the super tight parry window. Those were my. Those were two of my big complaints in the review. Because it's not just the lack of poise, it's also recovery time. Like, I can swing and be ready to block with this much faster than I can a strength weapon. I mean, we could... I don't know, I'd have to get my... I have to unlock the tree, but we could respect the strength and try it out at some point. I just don't exactly have high hopes for it. Get off of my ass for like 10 seconds, bro. Wow, this dude's got double great shields. And half my attacks bounce.
Even your, uh, even your Fable Arts don't have hyper armor. Which honestly feels kind of bad. I feel like you're... You know... You build up all this Fable while you're fighting and finally spend it. And the game's like, oh, you don't have hyper armor? That's too bad. Guy re doesn't respawn, so we can't exactly test it. I also feel like Fable should recharge to full when you die. Like, I get why it doesn't. <clears throat> and it would be pretty OP. If it did, but... There's a P ability? Mm -mm. There ain't no P ability that gives you protection from stagger. No hyper armor, no poise. Oh, fantastic. The pipe fit like a glove. Well, like a pipe. Ah, <laughs> uh, a little help. Anyone? Where's mm. the national philanthropist in need of assistance? Yeah, but I don't want to go to the training area to get my stuff filled and then re-travel. That's going to get real tedious real fast. Performance is good. Just keep playing the game, bro. You get the hair from playing the game.
Opa. I hate that fucking attack. Holy shit, dude. Wasting my shit. Dude, New Game Plus health pools are kind of fucking outrageous. Final boss gave me the hardest time. No, nah, New Game Plus, you just know what they're saying is all. Yeah, I don't know, man. These, uh, these New Game Plus health bars are kind of fucking outrageous. I figured I'd do a, a full new game plus run, but I am really second guessing that decision right about now. Oh, I didn't have that on. It's crazy to think this is new game plus final boss weapon type damage. And this thing just don't give a fuck.
Man, he's got way too much oil around here. I'm gonna back up. He's about to light all this shit up, probably. Come over here. I also feel like sometimes the, the camera is one of your biggest enemies. Cause like when his hands up here, like look at our look at our camera. It's like this. And then it just fucking bonks you. So like you can't even really see that, you know, you know when attack's coming, but you can't see the fucking hand. Which makes it a huge pain in the ass to actually get off the, the perfect block. Cause I can't fucking see it. Yeah, the, uh, the lack of upgrading your weapon further definitely seems like a problem for New Game Plus. Just because these health bars are, are outrageous. And this is like the starter boss stuff. This stuff is, like, everything we have fought up till now truly is, like, basic, basic. Like, mega basic. I don't even want to think what the final boss or hidden boss would be. I mean, I don't need to fight hidden boss again. But final boss was the hardest boss in the game, I think. And fighting him is just gonna suck. Did I not get a quartz off that boss? I didn't. Whack. I feel like every boss should give you a quartz in New Game Plus. Let me level up. your favorite boss weapon probably the thing i'm using uh favorite legion would probably be <clears throat> i don't know pandemonium for trash or fulminus for bosses pandemonium can do some crazy stuff against the the basic enemies because you're able to just throw it out and it's effectively, you just cheese them with it. They don't know how to fight back. You just throw it and then like walk away and they'll stand there in the acid and die. So obviously that's just busted. Archbishop probably gonna be fucking insane. A new game plus is just gonna be like an unstoppable monstrosity that we can't do any damage to. And we'll do damage. Just he'll have a giant health pool. you go away Jesus Christ it's 
what I don't like about elite enemies, dude. Look how fucking hard that dude chunked me. Bro! God damn, bro. I hate this thing. Thing is so strong. Yeah, the elite enemies are absolutely mini bosses. This game is a 4 out of 5. You can watch the review on the channel. I already covered it in depth. Do you want to go up, child? The cathedral is still there. Are you. Interesting. I have no. Thank you. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way to the next boss in time. I'd like to try and get through him. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I can, we'll see. Um, for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid, Frangelica. Wonderful, Saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, uh, you look annoyed. What I do... Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. Dead 
There's a whole playlist of Starfield available already. It's weird. It won't let me skip this cutscene. I get it. He's spoopy. I have to run, run through all this. Get out of here. What is happening? What's their problem? Wait, wait, their bodies are strangely altered. Okay, if you're not gonna fuck off, I'll just... Should have my 4090 back by Wednesday. That'll be nice. Have it in time for, uh, for Cyberpunk. A lot of shit. What's up, kitty cat? You want some pets? The thing is right on top of my ass. Yep, literally. Jesus. see what the plan is whether I'm getting the boy or watching the baby Wife said I got till uh she's gonna get him at five. So we got forty-five minutes to haul ass through the cathedral. I think we can do that, right? Forty-five minutes? That's probably enough time. Is asking, can you get this weapon before endgame a spoiler? I mean this is a new game plus stream, so I don't really give a shit about spoilers, but no, this is from the secret final boss. So no, you ain't getting it before New Game Plus.
No, I'm dumb. I forgot that's not the right way. We gotta be fast as fuck. I do think um, I'll probably start really trucking through Starfield though, because since we have. Uh... Since Phantom Liberty is coming out, I'm gonna wanna play that. And I have a feeling that once I start playing Phantom Liberty, I probably won't be playing Starfield. So I feel like I should really burn through Starfield within the next few days. I think a Wizard of Oz Souls like would be fucking weird. Oh my god, dude. Throne attacks are so fucking strong on New Game Plus. Look how much health that did. Oh, it's almost half my health from a single throne object. That's wild. Yeah, I just wrapped up Edge Runners the other day. That ain't gonna get the job done. This whole part sucks, because if you don't have, uh, throwing weapons, they just... And uh, as you can probably guess, the whole gimmick is these stupid thingies hit you, and then it knocks you down, and then you fall to your death. Jesus. Traps aren't insta-kills, but they will chunk you for a massive amount of your health. I don't remember if this, this is like an ambush, if I remember right. Yeah, it is. Come over here, please, so I can... He ain't gonna come over, is he? Are you on? Damn. That, and the, the lantern needs to be brighter, too. You can barely tell when it's on. I feel like fighting you fair.
Come here. Stand in that fire. Bro, god damn. What I say about fucking mini boss elites in this game, bro? They're terrible. Oh, look how much damage that fucking thing does. that thing and you have to kill it for the gate to open I am not immune to decay or corruption Though there is a amulet you can get that'll give you immunity to that stuff. It's super heavy. But it makes it so you're immune to all status effects, which is pretty good. No, I will not be doing a walkthrough. is filled with traps. <coughs> Future D4? <coughs> Fuck no. D4 needs so much patching. There's literally more people watching Diablo 3 and Diablo 2 than there are watching Diablo 4. Which is fucking sad, because they absolutely screwed the pooch on it. Like, the campaign for Diablo 4 is a lot of fun. Probably one of the best Diablo campaigns I've played in a long time. And then when it came to Endgame, there was just nothing. The the end the thing is Diablo is all about Endgame. It's all about that post-game grind and that being entertaining. And Diablo 4's Endgame is balls. It's just dungeons and dungeons and dungeons. And like rifts were actually fun, but Diablo 4 wants to be fucking stingy with its loot. Sure, I don't need to know I'm Alan. I'm looking. Do you know? <laughs> I have a lot of searching. Since you're so help. Since you're so. Um, you're the. I gotta buy all these. There's like an achievement for getting them all. I've heard that this is actually really good. Well, we'll we'll test it back at base after I get a thingy. 
Let's keep trucking along. Oh, that's right. This elevator just brings me to you, I think. See, that's the thing that killed killed Diablo 4 for me, dude. Like, there was so many things that they they learned in Diablo 2 and in Diablo 3, and then they didn't bring any of those lessons. It's like... It's like they made Diablo 4 and they, they just forgot all of the gaming experience they had prior. It was just wildly fucking baffling. Because there's so many... There's so many, like, just very minute, easily fixed problems in Diablo 4. Just tons and tons of things that shouldn't have been problems. That should have just been like, oh yeah, that's... Why would we do that? That's silly. That doesn't make sense. We're not going to do that. Okay, lady. Listen, you're getting annoying. Like, limit, limited inventory space and the fact that, uh... Not only is there limited inventory space, but there's also, you know, your... Your gems didn't even have... Oh god, here comes Big Boy. No, I don't want to fight you. Anyway, limited inventory space makes no fucking sense. Why is it there? Why is it there? There's no no point for that shit in Diablo. Not not like, like they they we went from having a good sized inventory to a smaller inventory. Uh, gems also taking up that space makes no sense. The fact that like you can reroll and get the same fucking things like you'll try to reroll your item, and the game will be like instead of five percent crit you can have. 5% crit or nothing, and you're like, okay. And then they have the audacity to increase the cost after that? Like, bro. There are so many fucking just questionable ass things that they did in that game that make no sense logically. They're just, they're baffling. And it sucks, because, like, the game truly is, it's a, it's a cool game. The defense, or the, uh, the campaign's a lot of fun, but, uh, they just, they fucking screwed the pooch. Alright, here we go. Hard boss time, boys. Yeah, someone was asking if I was going to do the the Diablo 4 seasons, and I said there's no way I'm doing them. This boss is honestly all about just staying behind it. Though I will say this is probably the, the first, like, hard boss that you, you end up fighting. Oh, fuck. So he's gonna attack that guy, but you can actually just stay on the, the, the ass. And you don't need to, to deal with the face at all. I don't like 
like dealing with the head. I like sitting on the ass. Come here. Alright, never mind. I take back what I said. That boss got bodied. I am the best in the world. People are about to watch that and be mad as fuck. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? Fucking boy, you just fucking killed it. It's bullshit. Spent like three hours on that. Are you gonna do a review of the game? Are you gonna check the channel for the review that's been up for like four days? Yeah, Bishop's pretty easy. I think a lot of people, uh, they just struggle to get good. You know, when you're a god gamer like myself, though, Bishop's not exactly a challenge. You just gotta, uh, you know, you just gotta get good. That's about it. You just gotta get good. A lot of people don't get good. Extra pulse cell or link dodge? Uh, I would get Link Dodge first. Name happened here. Oh, I haven't a clue myself. There's gotta be someone at the hotel who knows something. Germany, are you on right now? I feel like you're not. See, this is what I can't tell. Like, is my lantern even fucking working? Because it sure as shit feels like I can't see anything. Why would you not use phantoms? The game gives you, like, a near-infinite supply of stardust. People don't use phantoms and then complain that the game's too hard. Lol. So that just looks like it's a big charge. Is it only that one hit? Oh cool, it changes this too, into a multi-hit. It's alright, it's pretty dope. That's kind of cool. Uh, we have an umbrella because oh, I am, the anyone with However, I am to you. purchasing boss weapons now. No walkthrough. It's kind of cool. A little... 
Like that, how it... Little plunge. Starfield worth buying a PC? No? Why would you buy a PC just for Starfield? <clears throat> There's like millions of different games on PC. I would never buy a PC for just one game. I mean, you should absolutely get a PC because they're fucking awesome. You shouldn't buy it just for Starfield, though. Be missing out on tons and tons and tons of games. Maybe I'll upgrade this guy, try it out. That, and then that guy. I want to try those two out. You know that? Wow, I haven't. I'm... You're my looks, but I my family, that I suppose. You're genie, listen, I just want to do some stuff, okay? Oh, I'm just going to use up all my stuff here. I had a lot of weapons that were disassembled. I'm just putting those all back together. There's a hidden move for the arc sword. What's the, what's the hidden move? It's just the transformation. I don't I don't think I'd call that a, a hidden move. It does seem like you're I'm getting some buffs as I use this. Getting me some type of attack counter, whereas this is giving me like a stamina cost down or something. Stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. And then I think it also gets an attack boost. 926. 510. Yeah, so it looks like after you you first transform back, your first attack is really boosted. You would use up so much of your, your fable though. I really wish the Fable wasn't as, like, aggressive as it is, because I'd love to use it more. But it's just, you, you burn through it so fast. I know my... Uh, alter the handle on this.
Yeah, I mean, it would be a strength build weapon, but for me, it works with quality. Curious why you respect out of advance? Because I beat the game with it, and I didn't want to play through this the same thing again. Starfield is definitely slow. I'm not a fan of the main quest either. Like, I, the ranger quest line, I had a, t a ton of fun playing that on stream. But the main quest is such a slog. Go to temple, go to temple. Dumb travel, space-time bullshit. Go to temple, go to temple. I'm like, ugh. It's just very, uh... I don't know. It reminds me of like vanilla Skyrim, but I feel like going and collecting the words for shouts was actually kind of cool because you were like fighting through a, a whole underground area or a barrow or whatever the case was and you were fighting stuff. Whereas in Starfield, it's like, here's the temple, find the door, chase the balls, you're done. Like, I don't like that part. So I don't know. I'm debating what I want to do with Starfield because part of me feels like I should push my way through the main story just to finish it. And the other part is like, maybe I should just do like a few faction quests and then wrap up my playthrough there. Like do, um, I've heard like Marine Corps stuff, the, the USMC or whatever is really cool. Or not that, whatever, the, the Space Marines. So I might do like Space Marines and something else and then wrap it up. But the, the chasing temples, that shit is boring. So I don't know. I might just burn through it just to get it done. But, yeah, do not like the main quest in Starfield. But, anyway, we're gonna wrap up here, I think. We got through, uh... Well, we got through a, a good chunk of the game. We got past Archbishop, so... Yeah, see, look, look, we can see, oh, there's an NPC back here that I should go get. Oh, there's two people to talk to to Hotel Crot and a box I should turn in. This is why I don't think a walkthrough is really needed. The game, like, actively informs you of, like, hey, hey, you missed somebody back here. You should go talk to him. I mean, I guess the walkthrough would show exactly where the guy is, but it's like, you know, it's not hard to know. <laughs> like, the game is literally telling you, yeah, it's in Path of Misery, and if you've hit this, you've gone too far. So it's like... You know, don't really think people need their hand held that much. But uh, let's wrap up here. I'm going to watch Baby Girl while my wife goes and picks up the boy from school. And then uh, probably no stream tonight. Probably going to be... Uh... Spoiler. The end was like six temples back to back. Oh, that sounds terribly boring. Um, yeah, maybe I'll stream tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. I do want to get through Starfield, though, so... If uh, the kids don't want to hang out, maybe I'll do that. Just burn through Starfield for, like, three hours to make progress. Um, but I do know uh, Cyberpunk... Let me let me see. I think I'm allowed to share the date. Let me see. Uh, I can share publicly that I have it. Um... Share the review embargo date. Okay. Yeah, so September 25th, I can start streaming Phantom Liberty. So that's what? What's the 25th exactly? Uh, 25th. Damn, that's a week away. It's Monday. All right. Well, next Monday is going to be that for sure. Um, and I will probably... Yeah, I think we'll we'll probably push through we'll push through Starfield faster, I think. I think I'll I'll focus on on getting through Starfield this week. That way we can jump into Phantom Liberty and just like do that a bunch. So anyway, wrap it up now. Maybe Starfield later tonight. If so, I'll catch you guys.